at the end of the day, we would all put our hands in and go, we ain't no quitters. Uh, we're the babysitters. We're the babysitters. Serena Carpenter. Hi. This is so exciting. You're this the is. busiest, most hardest working young woman in Hollywood. How do you Thank have you. time for all of this business? What a title. Um, how do I have time? I don't know. I, I make time for all of it somehow. Um, my, my mom has my calendar and she does a great job of monitoring my life. I love it. I'm so excited about this decom. Thank I you. loved adventures and babysitting when I was a kid growing up because Dang. there was something so cool and romantic about the idea that you could have a babysitter that would take you on an adventure. On an like adventure? This. I know. What did you love about this story? I, well, for me, it was such an honor to be a part of, you know, the reimagination of such a classic and beloved movie like Adventures in Babysitting. They truly do go on the adventure of a lifetime that not many kids get to do, and um, especially because they are families. You know, you have the Andersons and the Coopers, um, and it's not like they're like they're they're friends, but it's not like they're you know going on an adventure with their friends. They're kind of going on an adventure as a family together in a sense, and um, I think that's really special to make those memories and uh, to have this hilarious dynamic between these two babysitters who don't get along. I heard you guys didn't really know each other before you came into this project. No, but um, you guys were getting a lot of comparisons. So like Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, your magic. Who? No. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? No, no, I'm serious. That's so cool. Wow, that's amazing. Well, the chemistry was definitely instant. We just kind of got along immediately, and we had never met before. And the whole cast became such a family. When we first met, th that was we had first met in the audition, and it was very easy to go in and pretend like I didn't like her because I didn't know her. Um, and so I think we kind of got that humorous, you know, dynamic of not liking each other off the bat, which sounds terrible. Um, but we grew to love each other so quickly that throughout the duration of the movie, when you see the characters start you know, to become friends, it made it that much more fun. And to play off of each other with you know, our different senses of humor and our characters' sense of humor, it was honestly one of the most fun experiences of my life. And it's so fun to see you as this character because I feel like it's so much different, different. than anything we've ever seen you do. What did you love about about her. I love that exactly playing uh, getting a challenge you know to step outside of, of the box except my character really never steps outside of the box <laughs> um, but to play that that type of character I had to change up my my humor I, I couldn't be you know I couldn't just resort to the sarcastic comments that you know Maya would usually resort to um, but even in other roles that I played it, it was it was a totally different role that I've ever played before and also such it felt like such an iconic role because it was kind of a remake of Elizabeth Shue and that's that's an honor to play that because that was obviously such a beloved movie and character. I love that Lola is so brave, so courageous, and so unapologetically herself. And she's also so passionate about her art, about painting, and and she's just not afraid to live. And I think that's such a beautiful message and such a beautiful way of living. Now I'm not gonna give too much away, but I got to see a little bit of the movie. <gasps> that's it looks exciting. So good. Thank and there you. is this rap battle scene. Yeah, epic. That is going to be so epic. I feel like it's gonna go down in Disney Channel. Oh my history. gosh! Um, how fun was it to shoot it that? Was so much fun. We had the greatest time. Okay, I admit it, I don't follow rules. I'm not good with kids, I'm not good at school. Do you realize like how many people across America are going to memorize? I that hope they rap? do. I hope they memorize that rap because I I know I did. We were singing it all. That would kind of be like our signature thing. Like at the end of the day, we would all put our hands in and go, "We ain't no quitters. Uh, we're the babysitters. We're the babysitters." And also when we rapped, that was what we did. It's a really really awesome scene. It's also the moment in the movie when Sabrina and Lola start to bond for the first time, which is really special. Like I referenced at the beginning, so much going on, TV show, the movie, mm -hmm. the music. I know. So much has happened with you, I mean, just in the last year alone, but music specifically, I know you've got some stuff coming up. What can you share? What are you most excited about as far as the direction you're taking? I mean, I think a lot of people have heard the difference in Smoke and Fire and just uh, the maturity. And um, I'm very lucky that music is something that's been around me my whole entire life. And I've learned so much in the past year about music than I think I've ever learned before. And it makes me want to do more of it every day. It makes me want to write more. It makes me um, just kind of want to share my stories and uh, relate to people because there's there's so many stories that have yet to be told and I hope that I can tell them through music. It is the beginning of everything. It's the beginning of what I've always wanted. Um, I get to share my music with the world and do what I love most, sing and act. So I'm so lucky. My single just debuted, Love is the Name, and people are really loving it and nothing makes me happier. And I'm just so excited for this ride. Before you go, click to the left to check out nine best Disney Channel original movies or click to the right to see 10 stars who almost played iconic Disney Channel roles. Do it.